In this lesson, motion will be investigated from the perspective of work and energy. The concept of force, which you have taken up in previous lesson, will be related to the concepts of work and energy. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to answer the following questions. What is work? What is energy? How are work, energy, and power related? What comes to your mind when you hear the word work? The word work has many meanings. When people ask, what is your work? They refer to a job or employment. When people say, I'll meet you after work. They refer to the part of a day devoted to an occupation or undertaking. When your teacher asks, have you done your homework? They refer to the task or activity needed to be accomplished. In physics, work is an abstract idea related to energy. When work is done it is accompanied by a change in energy. When work is done by an object it loses energy and when work is done on an object it gains energy. In your previous lesson, you learned that force can change the state of motion of an object. If an object is at rest, it can be moved by exerting force on it. If an object is moving, it can be made to move faster or stopped by applying force on it. In order to say that work is done on an object, there must be force applied to it and the object moves in the direction of the applied force. Work is done if the object you push moves a distance in the direction towards which you are pushing it. No work is done if the force you exert does not make the object move. No work is done if the force you exert does not make the object move in the same direction as the force you exerted. Work is done when the force applied to the object causes the object to have a displacement in the same direction as the force applied. The symbol for work is a capital W. The work done by a force can be calculated as W is equals to F times D. Where, W is for work, F is for the force applied to the object and D is for displacement. As you have learned, the unit of force is kilogram meter per second squared or newton, and the unit of displacement is meter. Hence, the unit for work, is the unit of force times the unit of displacement or newton meter or otherwise known as joule. The unit, joule is named after the English physicist James Prescott Joule. This is also a unit of energy. One joule is equal to the work done or energy expended in applying a force of one newton through a distance of one meter. Suppose a woman is pushing a grocery cart with a 500 newton force along the 7 meters aisle, how much work is done in pushing the cart from one end of the aisle to the other? First, identify the given. In this case, the force applied by the woman on the cart is 500 newton and the displacement from one end of the aisle to other is 7 meters. Since the unknown is work, we use the equation, work is equals to force times distance. Next substitute the value of the known quantities and perform the operations. So, the work done is 3500 newton meter or 3500 joule. 